This is the reality. I want to be someone who doesn't give up because I want to be an influence to people, a reminder that says don't give up, keep following your dreams. And if I give up, I will never be able to prove that not giving up leads to great things. You just never know when a miracle will happen. Hi guys, welcome to a new video. In today's video, I am so excited. It's finally time to do my Barbie holiday dress for 2023. Now this video ended up being later than I wanted and it has kind of meaning in it of why it ended up later and what went on and what I learned. So I really hope that this can be somehow an inspirational video as well as joining me on the journey of making the dress. It was a chaotic, time but i won't spend too much time talking because you'll see how it went so stick around to the end of the final reveal as well as a message that i really wanted to share with you guys throughout this really difficult time to create this dress i hope you guys enjoy it even though it is nowhere near perfect but that's okay and that's the beauty in dress making and in life thank you guys so much for watching oh my gosh this room is a disaster Okay, it's time to see what this Barbie dress looks like. I'm actually really, really excited about this. The colors online have been throwing me off. It says champagne colored satin. It looks gold. I can't find it in person, so I needed to order the Barbie and I needed to have her anyway, right? Come on, Barbie. It's really loud. My son's asleep. I need to like calm down. Too excited. I'm 33 guys, and I'm excited about a Barbie. Here she is. Oh, I really wish I was able to get the brown haired Barbie, but it's fine. This is the one I was able to get. I actually have this one. She has my hair color and my skin color, as you can see. So I'm going to be swapping her out, hopefully. I'm assuming the Barbies are the same size. <laughs> I remember like people would collect these, but I didn't, you know, I was a kid. I was playing with them. Come on, Barbie. Come on, Barbie. I was gonna get this one. I almost got her, because I like her hair. I think I'm gonna copy her hair, but I'm gonna copy her makeup. The makeup on her would suit me the best. Okay, let's compare it to the fabric I actually got. That's not too bad, huh? It's a little different. I'm like still debating. I want it to be like as close as I can. So as you can see, the one that I have is more like kind of like a dirty gold. They say champagne, but that definitely looks like yellow gold. Okay, guys, let's get to starting. We're going to start with the pattern. Let's do this. Sorry, this video is not very formal, but I got some fabric. I just woke up not too long ago. I was not sold 100% on the shiny gold fabric. I really like that fabric, but in order for it to make a little bit more sense for the Barbie dress, I would need to use the non-shiny side, which just looks wrong to me. And I think the fabric is so pretty for maybe another dress. So I went on Amazon and I ordered some and I'm nervous that it's going to be the wrong color. But I could be wrong. Wait, 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 wait a minute. This might actually be perfect. <gasps> wait, wait, wait. Wait, let me go get the Barbie dress. <laughs> wait, this is not bad. The Barbie one's a little darker, but I mean, that's not bad for being an online. I had no idea what it looks like. I'm a little bummed because this is the only like metallic-y shiny thing I could find. And her bodice has like metallic threads going down it, but it's like really hard to find anything like that. And I still feel like I want to. The bodice looks darker, but I think even in this case, it kind of looks darker. Plus you're gonna have the tool with, with the stars. I'm not thinking about it in that way. Like it also looks like that on the Barbie. Now you're probably like, Stephanie, you just get gold fabric. And there you go. It doesn't have to be the exact same color. I know, but I'm a perfectionist. And I can't live like that. I just can't, I'm sorry. It has to be perfect. I'm just kidding. Like I know it's not gonna be perfect, but this makes me feel so much better. I am so happy. Okay, let's get back to the video. Alright guys, I'm being a perfectionist about this and I need to just tell myself 
to not be that way. I keep thinking that this dress has to be exactly like this Barbie one. It took me 10 years to find a fabric that I could be okay with to match the color. 10 years to decide how this bodice is gonna look because they need it to be basically the same way that they, they put this one together. Problem with that mentality, of course, is that the way they put this together works perfectly fine for a little tiny size and it may not work for a much bigger size. A Barbie figure is not even soft and moldable, okay? They're hard plastic. That being said, I changed some seam lines so that I wasn't trying to be exactly like that. I want the bodice to be fairly structured so that it is comfortable to wear but also like doesn't look floppy and I'm gonna stop being a perfectionist. Maybe. <sighs> Guys, I okayed this. I okayed this. These are just test straps. We're gonna be putting clear vinyl not even joking but that's just to give me an idea of like the tension adjusted the v should go in a little bit more i am going to structure it i'm going to put some probably boning lining of it will probably also be boned and then this dress form has a much flatter bust than me it's kind of hard to tell it's it's finally okay i did make a couple adjustments when i put this on myself and when i tested this part out i noticed that like for me my arm would be here so this is like my underarm i just have a lot of like extra fat on my underarm area and just around basically what i'm trying to say is it makes me feel uncomfortable because it just kind of falls out and so i think it's super important like even if i were to have a client or make stuff for people in like a similar size as me like people who might have that same issue just because the style is like that for a barbie who's plastic right it doesn't mean it's going to work out great for me it's not going to feel comfortable i decided to raise this up higher so it covers more and i just thought like i I don't want all of that coming out like i want it to be held in by the dress so we adjusted it here this is the difference i wanted to add about an inch i also adjusted a little bit right here so that it accommodates for this part that goes up slightly we are basically just going to go for it because i don't have time to be just sitting around testing stuff that's good enough for me i'm just gonna hope for the best time to basically dip into this fabric also i need to cut the skirt pattern this is actually like two-thirds of a circle or no one-third of a circle i did the math to see what they use for this i think i decided i'm just gonna do a half circle it'll be a little bit easier to cut and then this top layer with the stars i'm going to cut out enough that it is the width of the circumference of the middle of the circle so we're gonna do some math i went to multiple stores that i have here in town nothing nothing has that color minus kind that i almost got but didn't want to waste it i just have this little dress just floating around i'm just like what does it do it's so cute i'm making it life size so that's the plan i also forgot that i need paint like paintbrush to paint on the stars and i didn't think that through i also wish i just had glitter paper that like was like iron on or something <laughs> but that'd be a lot of stars so painting is my best bet Let's have a little bit of honesty talk. A little bit, just a little bit. We're in the middle of making this dress. You know, like, it's gonna happen. We're gonna figure it out. I got heart palpitations last night. I was stressing so bad. And it's not just the Barbie dress. Like, I also had some unfortunate, I don't know, just like an unfortunate conversation with a friend that really caught me off guard. I am pretty sensitive, like, when it comes to people. I put a lot of time and energy into people that I, you know, like, allow myself to trust. And I actually tend to trust really easily. My problem is that I kind of just let things happen and then look back and realize 
oh I just let that happen it really really caught me off guard and it put me in this really sad but also kind of frustrated anyway just put me in a mood it meant that I missed yet last week's video and I haven't missed a video and I thought I would make it like the full year never missing a video it's like yes I recorded I went through all that I spent all week like making the video recording it and got really behind on the current project and I missed a week everything just piled up on me and it got me to feel really really stressed and down and it got so bad that I was literally like laying in bed with heart palpitations and my body felt kind of shaky because my blood pressure got, went so high my stress my hormones everything was just like super out of whack to the point where I just felt like I couldn't deal with anything. Well, I was like, what am I gonna do about the dress? What am I gonna do about this or that? I didn't technically solve the star thingy. There's a lot of stars. Okay, there's a lot of stars to paint. However, I'm gonna be blowing them up. So like in reality, they're not gonna be that small, right? Like they're gonna be big. I kind of looked at it and I thought, oh, okay, the big star is the size of her hand. So I'm gonna do like stars, like the height of my hand. <sighs> All that to say, I just started to really, really stress super easily. I got to this point where I was like, man, I went like eight plus months, like always posting on time. And then like one friend like says something that really hurts me, throws me off. And I like miss an entire day of work because of it. Then the next day was my dad's birthday. And then I got super emotional adding that now i'm emotional about my dad and this friend issue and it was just like two days in a row and then it was sunday which is my day of rest and then i was like i need to focus on the good things so i started to focus on my son because he's like my little best friend and he is unconditional love sweetest little guy and i just kept thinking about my son like he's you know he loves me he looks up to me like he needs me and so that helps me get through luckily Christmas is coming and finances are not getting any better and I'm over here like putting all this work and energy and time and so much into hoping that this will turn into a career someday but it's still been eight plus months of me editing and uploading every single week minus this last week which I'm still really stressed about <laughs> it has been that long doing a job that has so far paid me nothing and in fact, it's cost me a lot of money to pay for a lot of things that I've needed or done or whatever. This dress, holiday Barbie dress, is costing me so much money because I've bought stuff I shouldn't have bought. Didn't like this, I didn't like that, and then I can't buy the things I want to buy, so now I gotta go buy something else, which in the end ends up being about the price I would have paid if I just anyway. We will get back to the dress. I just had to let that out, okay? I'm sorry. I had to vent. I had to just release that into the abyss of YouTube. This is the reality. I want to be someone who doesn't give up because I want to be an influence to people, a reminder that says don't give up, keep following your dreams, and if I give up I will never be able to prove that not giving up leads to great things. So I'm so determined to not give up. And if you want to join the journey and you haven't already and you haven't hit subscribe, hit subscribe because I'm not giving up. I have so many things I'm going to do and I want to see myself succeed and I want to be able to help others do the same someday. Be sure to hit like and be sure to comment what you think about the dress so far or save your comment for your final thoughts. I don't really mind which way you go or multiple comments. But let's get back to the dress. Thank you for listening. Oh my gosh, guys, I forgot to mention the queen has posted her video. By that, I mean like Farrah Tours. If you don't know who she is, she's the reason why the Barbie holiday dress thing is such a big deal for me on here on YouTube. Yes, she posted. I have not watched it because I wanted to complete my dress before I sat and watched her video, but I did see the thumbnail. My friend told me she posted. I wouldn't even have known because I haven't got on YouTube. I just went on there like, what? I thought she was posting on like the 23rd again, like the last two or whatever years. Nope, she posted today. Was I freaking out? Yes, I was freaking out because I thought she was posting later. So here we are. <laughs> but it's fine, it's fine. I'm a little nervous, but you know, like this is, this is, this, whatever. I'm making the dress and I'm joining this trend and I'm excited about it. Also, babes support babes. So she's a babe, so I support her. All right, so the skirt I took down because I want to measure it and I don't know where I went wrong, but I only need 120 inches of the tool to go around. It's gonna be a rectangle, because that's what it looks like they did on the Barbie dress, about 20-ish inches long. And then I'm going to do double that rectangle for the bottom tier and it's gonna gather all the way around. I feel better because for some reason I wrote down I needed 280, which is over double. I was like, why was I doubling it? And then tier two, I put 560, like I even doubled that. I'm so glad I didn't cut anything yet and that I just like re-measured it. I was literally like, is there any way I can get by with less? 
Hello, I wasn't thinking straight yesterday. Tier number two, I'm writing this down, is double that. So that's 260. So no more of that 50 million of it. So I feel better now. I don't know what I was thinking. Yeah, and then the pleated shawl thingy, I did it in like white tool and I was actually tempted to put it in coffee and just like pin it close so the pleats stay and then let it like completely dry or like blow dry or something. It's not a huge deal. It's just, it doesn't 100% match anymore because now I'm changing the skirt tool to this off-white color, this yellowy one. Right now though, I'm going to lay this tool out because I think it's time to finally cut it. And once it's cut, I can then consider doing the stars and then we'll put the stars all over it. I would like them to dry overnight so that tomorrow I can assemble it. So once I do the stars, I'm going to start sewing all of the bodice pieces together. And then I've been lining it with just like, looks like muslin. I think it might be just muslin or I don't know, it's from my fabric stash of random stuff. So wish me luck and uh, let's get going. <laughs> stars that I would want by looking at it from a distance, but I don't care. I think we have hit a point, my breaking point. It is 4.23 a.m. and all I've done today are these freaking stars. I still have all the bodice pieces. I'm gonna go ahead and sew at least some of that for now, and then I'm going to bed. I couldn't find thread this color. This is the best we're gonna get. I don't even know if it counts. We'll see, we'll see, we'll see, because we will. We will see, we will see. I'm going crazy right now. Those stars took me way longer than they should have. Being a perfectionist is so frustrating because you can't help but be the perfectionist, but like it takes up a lot of your time when you're trying to perfect it. I'm pretty sure I did a pretty good job. We'll see what it looks like when it's actually on the dress. The show must go on. Oh, and that's from another day. So please ignore the chips and soda I've failed to take out of my sewing room. I actually haven't been having soda or chips. I won't sleep very well if I do, so I haven't eaten throughout this time that I've been up throughout the night. Don't judge me. That was from the other day. All right, so we have it hung up. I had to fix a couple of these, but it was like really hard to do hanging here. It looked kind of wonky. So I put that thing to obviously so I didn't get paint through it. I mean, I did my best guys. The gold is a little different on the dress, but that doesn't matter. I did it. That's what I assembled last night, this layer here. But I realized I wanted to interface the gold. Um, I had to change my shirt because <laughs> my armpits were like actually smelling and I was like <sighs> This is the don't ask. I decided to do it the hard way because that's how I live my life For some weird reason. Yeah, we have like big giant mess going on here, but it's gonna come together guys It's gonna come together just top stitched underneath there just like Barbie now that that's done We are going to attach these side panels I just, I'm complicated, you know what I mean? Like, I live my life on the edge. Also, I'm cooking something to eat at 2 a.m. because I'm not on a normal schedule. I'm not a normal person. I work while my baby sleeps. I sleep while my baby sleeps and technically he wakes up and plays in his crib while I'm passed out. And then he's happy as a camper when I go get him. It's our thing, like we have a thing. I go in there and I say, sorry, I took forever. And then he's just like, hey, what's up? You wanna play? And I'm just like, yeah, let's do that. The kid is like the most forgiving human being on the planet and I need that in my life, you know? I need good people in my life and my kid is the good person. My husband's okay. <laughs>
close to being done. Bit check here because I just sewed the zipper on for some reason. This part is being wonky but I will be sewing down the top. I will say the color like just looks different now that it's on. Like why does it look green to me? Maybe it's just me. It's a little loose up top. I had debated darting it but I forgot about that <laughs> and I never did it. I also added these vinyl straps. 5 45 a.m. I think it fits fine minus right here. Gaping is happening, which honestly at this point, if I have gaping, which I do, it like literally makes me feel so embarrassed because I feel like I'm past that. But this is a new bodice I've never tried. So maybe I'll give myself the benefit of the doubt. Back to sewing. I just had like four-ish, four and a half hours of sleep. I have debated quitting. I have debated giving up. Even though I made it this far, I was just so disappointed in how that bodice looks so dark. But it's like the only gold fabric and that's that everything else they had was darker. I have debated quitting on this because it's stressing me out so bad. Because I put this pressure on me that I wanted to get this out. I wanted to do this video. I wanted to jump on this trend. I wanted to experience it. So many expectations, I guess, that I put on doing it. And then by the time I tried it on last night, I was just completely disappointed, hated how I looked in it, and then just like went to bed and just have been dreaming of glitter stars apparently because half asleep this morning I recall telling my husband and trying to tell him something about glitter stars and I was like come on just think you can tell him like get it out tell him what you're trying to say you're just a, you're just a little asleep and then I just like went to, back to bed after that I don't remember what the heck I was trying to tell him later on I asked him like did I try to tell you something about glitter stars he was like yeah it didn't make sense I like literally just feel like crying and breaking down right now and I know that's silly because it's like okay it's just a dress, it's just a video, it's just YouTube, like what's the big deal? But I put so much pressure on me to get my YouTube going, to get to a point where I can get monetized and get paid and it's gotten to my head so bad because our finances are just not getting better, the debt is continuing to add up. It's stressful to put like every single Christmas gift that you got that you really wanted to get for your son on a credit card because it's the only way to be able to afford you. What is that? He's just an innocent little child and I want to make the best time for him and everything and I don't want to be sitting here thinking about money all the time and so anyway sorry this is just gonna be one of those deep emotional what the heck just happened videos we're gonna finish the dress because you know what else can i do and i'm just gonna put this out there try not to cry while putting it out there and just saying look i did my best this is a representation of I don't even know how to say it. like this is literally like a representation of my life that it's not perfect sometimes things don't match up they don't fit really well you think it's going great and then it's not and and things happen unexpectedly and you stress out but in the end you get an end product somehow and you just put it out there what i'm doing with youtube i'm just putting it out there in the world and just telling myself trust god just never know when a miracle will happen so with that being said i'm going to finish it and then we're going to reveal it <sighs> i have no idea how it's gonna go i feel like i learned a lot while making this dress I realized that my need to perfect things was the reason I stressed myself out when it came to how I'd do the dress, when I'd make it, when I'd edit the video, and when it'd be uploaded. In the end, I just felt so broken. It took up so much of my time stressing over the timing of the project that I ended up lacking a lot of sleep and couldn't fully be there for my family throughout the week. It just wasn't like me to be like that. I ended up allowing myself to be okay with my plans not going according to my expectations and I tried my best to enjoy Christmas with my family and whatever I had left. Since I hardly had any sleep for those days, we even decided to do a Christmas do-over dinner shortly after Christmas Day. One thing I do love about myself is my ability to give people time, and time is one of the best gifts you can ever give someone. I stressed because it was taking up my time, and yet I was so determined to get it done. I was conflicted. When I finally let that go and I let God meet me where I was at, crying on Christmas Eve, I was able to calm my worries and no longer hold myself to my own expectations. 
This is why this video was released after Christmas, which I feel like that shows the reality. I didn't get to do my hair the way I wanted, and I squeezed the reveal shots in during my son's nap. It's the imperfections that I want to embrace this coming new year and teach myself that not giving up sometimes means being okay with the change of plans, and that's a hard pill for me to swallow. But the greatest things in life often come from the hardest times and the greatest imperfections. This dress now represents the part of me that struggled so hard to let go of my perfectionism, and it reminded me that my greatest strength is in giving people my time no matter what, and that I never want to change that in myself, even if that means giving up my perfect plans. Thank you all for joining along in my journey of turning myself into a very imperfect holiday Barbie for 2023, and with a very imperfect dress. Like I've gone through all this work, I've gone this far, and I'm literally like, what is this bodice? Like, you know what I mean? Like, why does it look horrendous to me? 